today we're unboxing an IP camera. So this particular camera is by a company called Hikvision and it's an EXIR turret network camera. So one of the biggest features about this one is the fact that it does 4K video quality. I've got details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's have a quick look at what you get in the packaging. So you get a CD, network camera, you quick user guide, network turret camera, quick start guide, drill template, okay, some fixtures, got a seal for ethernet cable, and the actual camera. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let's have a quick look at the actual camera itself. So very good build quality on there. Obviously you can see the camera and the infrared side of things. If I turn it underneath, the actual cable you've got coming out of the camera. So you've got power of an ethernet port and you've got a power point there as well if you want to plug it in directly into a point and just use it via the ethernet cable so that's possible as well in terms of the actual mounting of this obviously you've got the template there the drill template and you've got access points at the side as well so if you just look here that can be snapped off and the cable put through there so there's a few areas like that just to note so three three in total yeah and let me show how to take this apart so if i turn this top comes off and then you've got a screw hole here now this isn't motorized so you've got to manually adjust it so for instance if you've installed this if i loosen this you can maneuver it around so once you've got it into position you just lock it in but what we'll do we'll take this out completely okay and there's a flap there and if I lift this flap out of the way the top comes off like so and there you have the actual camera and it comes out of there so you've got a rubber seal underneath to seal it into place and the actual camera itself so build quality of all these components is really good so solid metal there metal for this piece this is plastic tough plastic and this one is again solid metal so if we have a look at this and work our way around we can see a slot here so this is a micro SD card slot and you've got a reset underneath this so let's open this up as well okay and there you go card get slot into, if I can just show it clearly, just the gap there, and you've got the reset button just here. Okay, so next, let me show how to insert the micro SD card. So I've got one here, it's 64 gig in size, and it just slots in like so. There you go. And to remove, just press down, press back in. So let's close the actual cover up now okay so now it's secured we can just put it back into position so the cable goes through there and then we just want to line up this back into position Okay, so let's get this camera set up. So I've got it here. I'm gonna plug in an ethernet cable into it and a power point just here. Once you plug it in, you'll notice a red light come up on there. That means it's initializing. So let's put it to the side. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, I've put the CD that came with the actual packaging into my computer and it's opened up and it's presented this. So we want to go to application software and that one, SADP tool. Let's double click that and install that software. So this is the discovery software. 
to enable you to pick up the camera on your network. Okay, so the application started and straight away it's picked up the camera. So if I tick the box here, device is not activated. So let me create a password for this. Okay, and we'll click the activate button. Okay, the device is activated. There's some additional security questions if you want to enter those in. Let's cancel out of that for now. And we can actually amend the IP address. So I'll put in the subnet for my test network here and a gateway address which is that and let me fill in the admin password on here as well okay that's complete and now we should be able to connect to it if I type in the IP address so let me go to Internet Explorer okay wants to run the following add-on so we want to allow that one the username's admin and the password is what you typed in earlier and there you go that's what you're presented with straight away okay so now we're logged in let me show you around the actual system so you've got live view here got playback to play back any footage picture and configuration so let me go through the configuration options so you've got local live view parameters details there record file settings so the actual settings for the recordings and you can record obviously locally if you wanted to if you went via this interface if I go to system you've got basic information here you can change the device name build details etc time settings you can adjust these DTS RS232 and about maintenance wise you can reboot the device you can restore back to factory defaults and even do firmware upgrades security wise authentication ip address filter security service user management you can add in additional users network details mac address ddns pppoe port and nat Okay, advanced settings, SNMP, details there, got FTP, email, it's quite good, obviously you can get it to email as well on alerts, platform access, this is an interesting one, to enable usage and connectivity via your mobile device, you'd have to enable this, so let me enable that now, I'll put in a verification code. So I'll put that in, let's click OK to that and save it. Okay, I want to see if that comes online. Let's give it some time, but let's move on. HTTPS, QoS, 802.1, integration protocol, network service. Then you've got audio, video. Uh, video so the mainstream so the details regarding this so you can actually take down the resolution if you wanted to so at the moment it's in 4k video quality let's go for the highest you can change the actual frame rate so you can reduce the frames per second so let's keep it at the highest value for now video encoding you can adjust that as well obviously that's for compression purposes okay and that's what you have let me also show the substream so when you've got another stream going to it, so if you're plugged into an NVR and you've got multiple pictures appearing, this is normally the substream you see here. So you can change the resolution of that as well if you wanted to. Let's go back to mainstream. Okay, image. So you can adjust the actual image quality if you wanted to, just to tweak it a little bit if you wanted to. Let's quickly shoot through those. OSD, that's the display you see there, so you can amend that as well. You can take things off if you wanted to and leave things on. Okay, privacy mask. If you wanted to blank out certain areas, you can do as well. So very comprehensive what you've got in there. Okay, event, basic event, smart event. So you can enable motion detection. You can draw the area you want the motion detection to kick in on 
let's just turn on motion detection and save that. Okay, video tampering and exception. Smart event, okay. Scene change detection, face detection, intrusion detection, line crossing detection, unattended baggage detection, object removal detection. Okay, finally we've got storage. So for this, you can actually see what it's going to do. So it's going to, it's actually set to continuous record at the moment. So you can change that to do motion alarm and storage management. So when you get your system initially, best to format it straight away to the actual SD card you have in there, if you are going to use it in that way. So I actually think it's a good idea to use both so the actual micro sd card and your nvr so if you're in a situation where your nvr so your network video recorder which has all the footage recorded was stolen at least you can fall back on the footage that's on the camera so double the sort of protection with this okay that's it it's, it's ready to next. use let me show how to get your smartphone connected to the actual camera so if i go to the play store on my android device here and I can type in Hit Connect or Hit Vision CCTV app, and this is what appears. Hit Connect, that's the one you want. So if I hit Install. Okay, so now the app's installed. Let me click Open. Okay, so it needs access. Allow that. Select Country or Region. Okay, so the next thing we need to log in. So I'm gonna register an account now in the background. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've registered my account and I've logged in and this is what I'm presented with. Fingerprint authentication helps enhance account security. Turn it on. So it has that facility available as well. I'm just gonna cancel out that one. You can see test in there. That's from a previous system I've reviewed. So this is what you're really presented with initially when you go into the app. So next thing you wanna do is click plus and scan QR code. Allow it to take pictures and record, yep, yeah, we'll allow that. Okay, so I've got the actual camera here and there's a QR code on the side. So if I scan that in on my phone. Okay, that's what I'm presented with. I just click add. We need to input the verification code that we entered in, click okay. There you go, it's added. Let me click finish. We change the alias if we wanted to, we just leave as it is. And there you go. Connected straight away. Okay, so now the camera's set up. I can show you around. So if I click on it there, you can see it displayed in a small window. If I click it, opens up. Now, if you had multiple cameras, you can see them all at the same time. So there's a full camera view, a 9, 12, and even 16. Let's go back to single. Uh, if we look at the bottom, we've got SD. If I click on that, the different picture quality, so basic, standard, and HD. Let's click on HD. If it had a microphone, you could listen in. You could zoom in as well. So obviously this is just digital zoom, not optical, so picture quality is okay, not too bad. If I click there, you can take a picture. You can initiate a record, and that will be recorded on your phone. Stop that. You can flip the image if you wanted to, if it was positioned in a slightly different way. Okay, if I click there, playback options. So this will play back footage from the actual camera that's been recorded. Let's go back. You can share it with someone. You can change the settings on there. and delete the device from your phone if you wanted to. Pretty straightforward. Um, and if I spin it around, just give it a second. Picture quality is 4K on the camera. I've set it to the maximum and the best quality and it is really good. Very impressive. Okay, And let me drop my Wi-Fi connection. Let my 4G connection come up. Okay, it's online. Let's give it a moment. May need to just close it off. Go back into it. Sometimes that helps. And there you go. Working straight away. Cloud-based login. So no need to open any ports on your router. And there you go. If I go there, 
you're seeing a live view right now. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Hick Vision turret network camera. Build quality of the camera is really good. Impressed with it. In terms of functionality, it's dual functionality. So it can work standalone with an actual micro SD card in the device, or it can be plugged in to an NVR and record on that. I think it's actually worth purchasing for both purposes. So you have recordings going on the actual device and your NVR in case your NVR ever got stolen. So, in terms of picture quality, 4K picture quality on this, and the picture quality is absolutely amazing. Really impressed with it. Both daytime and nighttime footage is really good. Simple to configure as well. Very easy to use, and simple to set up the app and use remotely. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.